EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Mason Crosby of the Packers has him teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. This will be taken short. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott and that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down second and 12 at the 26 yard line The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Elliott. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he cuts it right sideline. A big run that time by Elliott. 47 yards. That type of run right there, that just fires me up when I watch it because that's maybe the most underrated aspect of his game. The ability to break tackles and know where the first down chains are and pick them up. He's tough, good pedigree. Dad Stacy was a linebacker at Missouri. Yeah, and how about mom on the track team? So I think that's where the speed came from. And, she just, and she's not shy about letting us know that, too. <laughs> yeah, I got the best of both worlds. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Prescott throwing complete to Cobb. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Throwing again on second down, Prescott. Give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Slipping into the backfield for the sack was Oren Burks. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Third and long for Prescott. Complete to Jason Witten. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 13-yard line. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. to the ground with Elliott and he will take it in for a Cowboy score a three yard touchdown run and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive 
That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 27. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They try to sweep the Jones. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That second down play nets a minus four. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Their boy down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. we got to step it up. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. First and 10, Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. down carry by Elliott and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 13 yards and a first down Cowboys his first carry of their second drive pretty solid and of course remember back to their first drive really strong throughout that one not only is he getting good blocking up front but how about his vision to find the holes and he's seeing things before they even open and hurdle it through him Got his man there, complete to Gallup. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll run with Elliott. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment. And that is caught. It's Witten for the Cowboy touchdown. 
It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And Pointer, they found a gap there on the post pattern in the middle of the end zone. And ordinarily, that's a tough spot to find because there's usually coverage to take away that portion of the field. But they found a gap, and they exploited it. Marr on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. To throw, it's Rodgers. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he... And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Defensive end Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Throwing on second and long. Rodgers looking middle, and it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing is Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he's got this down to the 35. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 35. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. The first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. The tackle was made by Michael Bennett. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. I know he ain't got it. 26. Check 55 to mine. Check 55 to mine. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He completes it to Jones. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Looking to throw on second down. Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. from the gun, Rodgers. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. This is a 33-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football, it's something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. This is taken at the three. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a new way I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Hey, check 26. Check, 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 check. On third down, here's Williams. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. A pretty good effort there, nine yards, but not enough. We'll likely see the punt team now on fourth down. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Watch the 47. Watch 
Here's Prescott. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and that'll bring up second down. It certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. Draw play, Elliott. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. They'll turn to the power game at Olawa. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. It's going to be second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Now they'll let Olawale have a crack at it. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And yeah, he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Hey, here we go. Watch the, watch the pass. Watch the pass. Rodgers now on first down. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Switch, switch, switch. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. This thrown quickly out to Jones. A loss of two there, second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. On second and 12, Rodgers got a man, that's Allison. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Rodgers to throw once more. And that is incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Hey, 
So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. They do go for it. It's Rodgers. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. And he's out of bounds, but now before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth. 